she grabbed a bucket of small fish with her bare hands, crushed it and poured it into the sea. With the smell of the fish, a small white shark is attracted to her. Lisa killed it quickly with a stick. She then owned herself from a tree with a rope and hid in a sand pit, ready to attack the monster. But Lisa didn't realize that she had fallen asleep. She didn't find the monster, and the little fish she caught was gone too. On day 6, Lisa was polishing her weapon, when she looked up and saw something floating on the shore. She walked over to it and realized it was half of her companion's body. Lisa didn't hesitate to hand the body. At night Lisa hid in the dugout again, and this time she saw the monster, but she still didn't have the courage to kill it. Since she couldn't beat the monster, she had to hide. Lisa made a hammock between two coconut trees. Just when she thought she was safe, the monster came anyway. Lisa hoped the monster didn't see her, but it did. The monster shook the coconut tree very hard. Lisa accidentally fell off and ran frantically towards the sea, with the monster in hot pursuit.